Hi, and welcome to part three of iLawyer App's overview of using your iPad in your law practice. Uh, you can find more detailed explanations in any of our CLEs, which you can find and sign up for at our website, www.ilawyerapps. In addition, we've got reviews and ways that you can submit your own app ideas for us or request apps that you'd like us to review. Again, this is part three. Um, real quick, let, let me tell you what you missed in parts one and two. In part one, we looked at purchase considerations, what we thought you needed. We also compared the 3G and the Wi-Fi version. Then we looked at the four main things that the iPad will do in your day, everyday practice. We gave you a list of all the apps we're going to be talking about. In part two, we started looking at GoodReader and how we used it in our office, how it integrated with the WordPerfect viewer. We then added that step to our overview of the process and then looked at Log Me In, how to control your desktop from your iPad. After that, we looked at Square, how to get paid using your iPad, and then CalcBot, a handy dandy calculator. Next, we looked at FastCase, which is like having case law research on your iPad, which brings us current to the beginning of part three. We're going to start out with Evernote. Evernote is like your own personal virtual wallet. It allows you to pick up clippings or articles, anything that you see out there online that interests you. You can mark it. I know my wife keeps any uh, recipe that she sees in one Evernote file. I keep any cases or anything I might want to blog about in the future, but just don't have time to read at the time. With Evernote, you can store it all there and then come back to it. Speaking of not having time to do things, dictation. You can do it from your iPhone or from your iPad. We've tried Voxy, we've tried Roxy, we've tried the software that comes with it. The best thing we've found so far is Dictimus. Dictimus allows you to record and it integrates with Dropbox. It doesn't record dead air and you can back up and start over. The main point, however, is that it integrates with Dropbox. So you set up a Dropbox folder for your Dictimus files. You dictate, and then your handy dandy paralegal or whoever can put it in your client's file, scan it as a PDF, save it to Dropbox, then you can open it up at the courthouse. If it's a Word perfect document, you can still open it or save it in Goodreader. Now, we want to slow down for just a second and make sure that you got that. The main point here is that this is the workflow we suggest. If you want to substitute other apps, you can. This is what works for us. We record on Dictimus. We then have our paralegals type that up, place it in our files. We scan or publish those to PDFs. We save them in our Dropbox by our clients' last names and matter types. We then open it at the courthouse. If it's a WordPerfect file, we can still open it, view it in Goodreader, take notes, put it back. Now let's say that you actually want to edit or create a document using a word processor. Right now your best bet is, is going to be Pages. I say that because Pages was made by Mac. It's the word processor used on most Macs. Um, you're, it is not compatible with WordPerfect. Uh, docs can be saved as pages or PDFs. They can be, rec they can be emailed or published. If you're new to Macs, you won't be familiar with Pages. It is their version of Word and it works beautifully. If you can take the time to get used to it, you'll love it. So that's all the apps we want to really talk about tonight. Um, again, that's just a basic overview. Now we want to talk about some hardware and some add-ons that will really help your experience. The first thing we recommend you get is a stylus. A stylus will reduce fingerprints, it will help you draw. If you're going to take notes using Goodreader or if you're going to have people sign their credit cards, this is the way to go. These things do get lost and at 10 bucks they're not cheap. We put a piece of Velcro on our stylus right here and it clings to our case beautifully. Speaking of cases, they're next up on our list. If, an, if you decide to buy an iPad, it's not a cheap investment, so you're going to need a case. If you do need a case, why not spend a little bit of extra money and get one that doubles as a keyboard? Now, Apple makes this standard keyboard that you can get, but for a few dollars more, you can actually purchase a case that doubles as a keyboard. Kingsington makes one. We've also found one by Zagmate. 
The Zagmate is hands down our favorite. It comes in a metal case that matches the iPad. It's Bluetooth functional. The battery la has lasted us for over a week since we've been using it. We're able to easily type on it, which makes making documents on the iPad a reality. Now, because we baby our iPad, we actually put it inside a second case. We put the Zagmate inside a Phillips sleeve. This keeps the case and the iPad more insulated and safer. Last up, uh, with your new iPad, we hope that you're carrying around a lot less files and a lot less clutter. With that, it may be time to go out and buy yourself a new briefcase. We looked high and far, and the best one we found was the Waterfield Design Musetto. Now, at $259, it's a bit pricey, but the leather is incredible. The interior is gold, which makes it easy to find objects inside. If you want one, order about two months in advance. Now, for those that want the silver spoon and everything, Musetto also makes a sleeve for the iPad. It's $59. Uh, we would love to have one, hint, hint, but uh, we just couldn't do it when we could get a Phillips sleeve for $12. If a Kiss Up staff member or loving spouse gets us one in the next weeks, we'll let you know what the difference is. Now, last but not least, we recommend highly that you open up Safari, go to iLawyerApps.com, and press the plus button to add us as a link to your home page. You could add us uh, to Evernote, friend us on Facebook. If you just didn't like anything you heard, thought this was a complete waste of your time, you can call us and let us know that. We'll file it in our File 13 drawer. We suggest that you check back often for reviews, for tips and tricks, sign up for any of our upcoming CLEs, give us suggestions on what you'd like reviewed, or if you think you've got the next big app and you'd like to see it developed, you can send us your idea along with a non-disclosure in order to protect your idea. If we're interested, we'll quote you on building your project, or we could point you in the direction of a developer that could build it for you. We've got several apps that will be coming out in the, in the coming weeks. We'll let you know, and we'll disclose that they are our apps before we review them, although I'm sure they'll get rave reviews. As always, you can check us out at www.ilawyerapps. We thank you for watching, and we hope you'll check back soon. Have a great night.